Hi, thanks so much for joining me. Let's get started on our card. Um, what I've got here is a four and a half by six inch piece of black card stock and our Dreamweaver gear stencils. One of my absolute favorite stencils. So I'm going to show you how to use it today. This is day two, so be sure and check out day one and you can see a different way that I've used it. So what I'm doing here is I'm just using some tape to tape this down and you always want to tape the top first and I'll get back to that later why that's important. But the kind of tape that I like to use, it's a medical grade tape. It's really nice. Um, it's not, it's sticky enough to hold it down, but not so sticky it's going to stick to everything. And I, I like the cost of it. So I'll leave a link down below so that you can see where you can purchase that. So now that I have all four sides down, I'm going to take some Dream Weaver embossing paste here, just in white, and I'm just using a piece of scratch paper to do this with, and I'm just going to spread some over the top. Um, I like to get good and messy, so there might be other ways that people do this in a cleaner method. That ain't me, okay? I like to get nice and messy. So I like to use a really big scraper, and what I use is it's a Wilton baking um, scraper. Like, I think it's a scraper or it's something to like smooth out fondant or something, but I love how huge it is. So you can see I didn't get all the way down, so I'm just going to add a little bit more off my blade and onto there, and I'm just going to pull down. Remember, when you do this, pull lightly. You want to just barely scrape the top of that because the harder you press, the more you're going to squeeze it out of the shape that you want, and it's going to kind of go all over underneath. And here I'm taking just little bits and putting it on the end of my scraper and just kind of going into those little spots that I missed. And again, do this really lightly. That part is really important. And, you know, don't worry, though, because you'll see on the finished product on one spot, I went and squished through a little bit too much. But remember, there's just embellishment opportunities, no mistakes. So I'll show you how we're going to fix that in the end. So you're going to take off all the tape, leaving that top piece at the top, which is that first piece we went down. And the reason why is it acts nice, like a nice little hinge. So then when we go to lift it, you get a really nice clean lift and you're able to have a really nice clean image without getting more paste everywhere. So now we've set this aside. It's nice and dry. It's ready to go to the next step. So I'm going to take my stencil and oops, got to get it the right direction first. I'm going to take my stencil and we're going to place it back over the top in the exact same image in which we put the embossing paste on. And that's just going to kind of act like a protective guard. So I'm just going to use a little bit of my tape here. I don't need to tape it all the way around because it's just going to protect the paint and kind of place the paint where we really want it. And um, you don't have to do this. Some people can add the color just fine. I tend to be really sloppy. So I like to have this guard in place so that way it can help me put the paint kind of where I want it. So in the end, I wound up using a little bit too much paint and it wound up squishing through, but I kind of like the messy look. So I'll show you what I mean at the end. So here I have some Krylon um, silver leafing pens and a Krylon silver copper pen. Um, it's a really nice paint. You can use other uh, pens, but I, I like these. I think they're really vibrant. And I like the way they turn out. So I'm pushing it down on the mat here and just creating a puddle and I'm taking my paintbrush I've got two of these foam brushes and I'm just going to pick up the color and I'm just going to press it down into the embossing paste. Now I went ahead and started doing it this way and um, as I was working on it I decided I'm going to use the pens and just go straight onto the embossing paste and then I'm going to go ahead and just spread it along with the brush and you can see that's what I've done here. I'll show you. There you go. Right there. You can see what I'm doing. So. Um, this is where it got messy. So I used a little bit too much paint and it squished through. So if you don't want it to get messy at all, don't do it this way. Do it with the way I started with. But like I said, I like that it's kind of messy. It's, you know, it's gears, it's funky, and I kind of like that look. So you can see we've got some smoosh paint on the gears, but I like the look of it. It's fun. Don't worry about the smudging on the edges. We're going to cut that off and we're going to trim it. But where it bled through in the center of the gears, that gave me an embellishment opportunity. So I went ahead and added rhinestones. Remember, there's no mistakes, only embellishment opportunities. Have fun with this. Get messy. Be sure to come back and check out my blog for more tips, tricks, and ideas.